Hello, and today we are going to be doing a new design called, happily, the Balloon Virus. And uh, we're really only going to be using two different types of stitches, but um, it will be uh, introducing us to a, a whole different way of um, doing patterning. Um, so what we've got is we've got um, a balloon shape, which uh, on th this is just a mock-up here, but basically we're going to be putting two shadow balloons uh, using um, this as our uh, shadow starting point. So we'll have a main design here and then behind it we'll do a shadow balloon there and then a shadow balloon at this side. Ignore my uh, other bits of drawing below. Um, and we'll be using um, a split stitch which will create the outline and then we'll be using long stitch um, and then um, a short stitch, um, both straight stitches, but clearly this is going to be a very long one here, and then straight stitches to catch. Now the thing to note on the final design is that when we catch the straight stitch um, to put them into place, is that we're going to be using um, two stitches to cross over on the uh, central line that comes down. And, and then at either side um, slant the stitches um, upwards um, on the one side and then upwards towards the middle on the other side. So as you can see they're both on this side all the stitches are going to be pointing up and on this side all the stitches are going to be pointing upwards and that will give us um, our overall look. Um, I'm using just two colours uh, but again, you go for whatever you feel um, is good from your stash. So the important thing for this really is going to be about the um, um, the drawing of it to begin with. And what you need to start off with is a um, is a template, um, bearing in mind um, our working area of our four inch square as as usual. Um, trying to get that in the centre for you. Um, what I did was I just um, drew a basic balloon shape um, and then that will, um, it's the one that I've used on here, okay. Um, having done that, try and, um, it doesn't have to be absolutely symmetrical, but try and make it reasonably symmetrical because we want from the tip to the top of the balloon to um, be a reasonably straight line. So if I just um, draw onto here for you and I can then tell you how to actually make the drawing lines which are important because that's what we're going to be using for the sewing. So that's our original um, front balloon and then using the tip here as a pivot um, we can then do a shadow balloon on that side. I'm using that as a pivot, a shadow balloon on that side, bearing in mind that it's got to fit within our four inch square. So I'll leave, I'll leave that bit to you to sort out. So we're just going to be concentrating on this one. Whatever we do on there, we'll be replicating on the two shadow balloons. So the first thing to do is to draw a central line from this tip up to the top of the balloon. And then having done that, we then mark a half inches all the way down. Having marked the half inches, turn your ruler around and then um, using the, that middle line, make the marks in parallel to it on the edges. Okay, and then the last thing we want to do, we've got half inch marks all the way down. We just want to make one quarter inch mark there. Okay, and then if you number them, you, you might want to write it on. You could write it in the middle because you're going to be sort of covering it more with, um, with your sewing. If you number them, it will help. So what I'm going to say now is we're going to draw from number one, 
down to the bottom, number two, down to the bottom, number three, down to the bottom, and then we miss number four and we go to number five. Now it's going to depend a little bit on the shape of your balloon. If you've got a slightly rounder balloon at the bottom, you might want to pull number six in as well. I'm just going to repeat that on the other side. Miss out number four. The only reason we're doing that is if we write num if we uh, pull in number four there, um, it's not going to cr to give us much distance and the the overall pattern's not going to look as sweet. And then having done that, what we now want to do is if you if you start on um, pattern number three it might be a little bit easier for you. So what you want to do is you want to hoop up a circle line from number three up towards the next half inch mark, which will be number two's half inch mark. And then you want to repeat that all the way down. So you're hooping up a half inch mark. Okay, and we don't need to, to, to do one at the top because that's going to be very near your um, the outside line. Or again, depending on the shape of your balloon, you might want to put an extra one in there. If we put an extra one in, you can see it's going to go up. It's going to go up very near that line. So that's those are our sewing lines. And after that, what we want to be doing is we want to be doing um, a split stitch to to perform the outline and then what we want to do is using an alternative colour um, uh, bring our needle out here and make a long stitch all the way down to the bottom again a long stitch all the way down to the bottom so we need to fill in these long lines and having done that, I'll show you what happens next. So I just wanted to show you um, the outline to begin with, the split stitch. So I'm using a contrasting colour just so you can uh, see where I'm working on the shadow balloon. So if I make my first stitch here, and then I'm going to be working in back stitch. So what I want to do is I want to uh, come up just um, the length of half a stitch and then go back through the previous stitch that I made. And again, come up just half the length of the stitch and go back through the previous stitch that I made. I'm hoping that you're seeing this because I can never keep my hand in the middle of the um, camera area. Okay, so I finished the split stitch on the outside and I'm now just going to make uh, the long stitches on the uh, shadow balloon. The important thing is to make sure that all your markings uh, are on all the balloons before you start. So uh, that's the first long stitch. Um, I'm going to bring my needle back in uh, down here and make the second long stitch. And you can see it's following that line that, that I've drawn on originally with my fabric pen. You want to avoid, uh, I'm just stabbing myself, you want to avoid stitching into the split stitch line. You just need to move it aside with your thumb um, so that you can bury the needle just underneath the stitching. Okay, so those are our long stitches and uh, they're um, taut, but
but they're not tight so they're not loose and flabby um, but as you as you push um, the fabric underneath of your fingers um, there is some giving them and clearly the, the fabric itself hasn't I'm now going to do the um, curved horizontal band lines so if I'm just going to um, bring my needle in here I'm just pushing aside with my thumb the split stitch line so I can bring my needle up and it will be buried underneath it and again um, pull away the um, the line on the other side so you can bury your needle underneath the stitching. Now what you want to be doing on the horizontal lines is you want much more give in the line. Um, it's going to be particularly important on this, on this uh, larger balloon because what will have to happen is that when you sew the um, the thread to begin with it's just going to be a baggy thread so if you if you move it up with your fingers to make sure that it will actually fit that curved line um, before you you um, take your needle back down and to make the next line uh, you'll know that it's going to fit so I'm going to bring my needle back up on the next to do the next curved line And back in on the other side and again I'm going to make sure that that's loose enough that um, it's not going to be very baggy because it's not got a massive curve on this one. So I've put in all the horizontal uh, banding lines and as you can see they're they're baggy and that's because if I move the um, wool with my fingers uh, you can see that it, it fits the curved line, which is clearly what I want. So I've now um, I've now secured a new um, contrast colour thread, and what I'm going to do is this is actually the centre line on this particular balloon. So this is going to have um, two um, two threads uh, to to form across on the centre. So if I bring my needle up. push the yarn into its position and then bring the yarn back down over to secure it. Now that has formed the um, size of the stitch which we want to try and keep to that stitch. You can see on this mock-up here I've got quite a long stitch there and I've got quite a short stitch there. Um, so it's a little bit more uniform on that side. It's simply because uh, as usual, I'm in a rush to do these things. I was outside while I was doing it. When I started off, I was being quite careful. So um, what you want to do then is bring your needle back up here. And down again. And that will form a nice little cross. I've got a bit of a fluff fluffy bit on there which is distorting it slightly okay so on this side um, on this side of the balloon we're going to be um, uh, making our stitches in the diagonal so it's pointing upwards so if we bring our needle you can move the wool out of the way so you can see where where that junction is Bring our needle up, move the wall back into position and take our needle back down again. Now we're only going to be doing one stitch on here so we can move down to the next junction. Move up wall back into position move down to the next one and clear the deck so we can see where we're sewing move the wall back in uh, 
and there you have it. So hopefully you can get on um, and do your thing. Thank you.